Hi everyone, it's Melanie and welcome to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a Christmas tablescape. I am super excited about it. I purchased this huge birch wood box from Ross and it already contained the greenery and what I'm doing is just going through and incorporating some natural greenery that I flocked myself to give it more of a natural look and feel. Now this box was around 40 or so dollars but I thought it was a good investment because by the time I built the box and included the candle stands and the greenery, it would have been way over $100, $150. And just by me painting the box from, it was like a natural wood color to an ivory cream winter white color and adding in the fresh elements, I just thought it brought it to a totally different level. And then once the holidays are over, this is definitely something that I could use again and again. So kind of keep that in mind when you are looking at different things in terms of home decor and centerpieces. So once I have cut all the greenery and filled it in, I'm just going to go through with like ornaments and other pieces um, just to make it kind of pop for the holidays. We did a winter wonderland theme in our home this year. And I wanted something that would last beyond Christmas into January and February, something that if I decided to keep it up, I definitely could. So now that all the picks and the ornaments are added in, I'm going to add in some fresh berries and just kind of go from there. Now we're back here once again, holidays and cheer. I got my eyes set on you oh, I'm not gonna play it safe It's going down on Christmas Day Cause I've been trying to tell you in every way Yeah, I've been trying to show you but somehow Okay, so in case you guys missed that I actually created ornament picks by using um, ornaments from a pre-existing teardrop wreath uh, or swag wreath that I got from Ross and I um, used the wood, the stick part of the greenery and created a pick. So, you know, I don't believe in wasting things. So I definitely wanted to share that with you guys in case you missed it. Now I am setting the table by using some beading, beaded placemats on the bottom that I got from Z Gallery. And then on the top, I'm using a clear and beaded charger. That charger came from Tablecloth Factory. I will leave a link down below. And the beautiful um, place setting that you see there is from Home Goods, and they also um, have pretty much kept it in stock this season as well. So this year, I definitely wanted to add a hint of bling onto our tablescape. I just feel like this year deserves a little bling, okay? And maybe some big bling too. Um, I got these when I was in California, but you can also find them on Amazon.com. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below. Um, just adding them to the center of the table just gave that 
element of class and sophistication that I felt like the table needed. And then the name cards that you see over on the left, the little bling uh, pieces that you see are name card holders. Unfortunately, we won't be having you know any guests this year, but if we did, I would have put their names in that. I got those from Totally Dazzle. Dot com. So I absolutely love the way that everything came together and I'm going to let you guys judge it for yourselves. Fun facts that I want to share with you guys about this is that when I was putting together this tablescape, I promise you guys, I could not have created this moment if I wanted to. It started to snow outside. It was so absolutely beautiful. The moment was just, I just could not cherish it more. It was just like, God just smiled on this moment and blessed us with snow here in Alabama. Now, um, a few things that I want to share with you is that I have the exact same chairs. I just added these chair covers, the velvet chair covers from Amazon, and it just totally gave a different feeling, a different vibe. I also added the uh, furry rug to match the fur runner on the floor. And then we did draping over the dining room area because you guys know that that wall is actually a coral or like a burnt orange. And I changed out the artwork to um, make it, you know, kind of match exactly what we had going on with the winter wonderland feel. And if you look closely, you can see our little specks of snow, you guys. It was so absolutely beautiful. I so thoroughly enjoyed this moment. I love the way that the tablescape turned out. I cannot wait to share with you the rest of our home. So maybe you may see it before or after this video. Who knows? But you guys, I promise you this moment was so magical. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a huge thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and everyone, please make sure that your notification bell is turned on. I'm always posting motivation and inspiration in the community tab on Instagram and on Facebook. So be sure to follow me on all of my social media handles at living luxuriously for less. I cannot wait to just welcome in this new year with you guys. Thank you so much for all of your continuous and unwavering support. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.